first, there's a Duchess in Dusseldorf tonight as Meghan jetted into the German city to join hubby Harry at the Invictus Games. Wasting no time at all, she took to the stage, apologising for being late to the party. And so I just had to spend a little bit more time getting our little ones settled at home. Mm -hmm. And then she had school drop off. And then I just landed a couple hours ago. Proper wholesome mummy stuff. Well, she travelled from California via Heathrow, but stopped over in London for just a matter of minutes after skipping Harry's UK visit earlier this week. Meghan touched down in Germany at about four o'clock local time before reportedly checking into the five-star Hyatt Hotel, where in a possible signal of her political <coughs> ambitions, she'll be staying in the presidential suite, no less. Well, her husband's already been a hit in the land of Frankfurters, attracting crowds and giving out high fives. Meghan's <coughs> itinerary has been kept closely under wraps, but it's believed she'll be meeting with some school children during her trip. Harry's also hinted his wife will be supporting Nigeria during the contest after discovering that her ancestral links are with the West African country. I mean, it's very clear the image that start? she's going. <laughs> Let's unpick this. As there's, we a there's, there's, there's a lot to unpack here. There's, 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 there's a lot to unpack. I mean, it's very clear the image that she's aiming to portray. It was an off the cuff, unscripted, allegedly, you know, no auto cute speech. So she's painting herself as somebody who can do that. Then all the mumsy, wholesome, I was putting the kids to bed and giving them extra milkshakes. There's a very clear message there. You know, I'm just a girl next door kind of mum. No staff. No staff. Doing no it, staff doing it all doing on it all. doing it all on my own. Only nineteen bathrooms. Having said <laughs> all of that, I don't want to be too cynical when it comes to the Invictus Games because yeah, I, I think we yeah. all agree, agree that is a good thing, so good. and yeah. it's a good thing that Harry's done. And it would be weird if she wasn't there supporting yeah. the best thing on his CV, the Absolutely. best thing that he's got to his name. So I don't want to be you know, completely poo-pooing it, but there's just something that gets I'm not up sure the nose. What you can poo-poo in that? Um, yeah. She does take the kids to, uh, to school. She, there's two parents, one's flown across the world. It makes sense for her to want to stay and try and get the kids. They're still very young, try and get them calm. And oh, they'll be left to the nanny, maybe the grandma will be there, whatever. But what she's saying makes sense. But we're still going to try and poo-poo it for no reason. I'm She's not going to poo-poo it. Even I'm this not is... going to poo-poo it, you know. <laughs> Let's just give him a break for once. The Invictus Games is great. Good for Harry for being right behind yeah. it, for creating it and promoting it. And uh, there were doubts that she might even join him in Germany, and I'm glad she has. So, you know, even I'm going to say, come on, leave it out. Let come on. Do you know what? Yeah, what I'm, the hell? I'm come absolutely on. shocked right now. <laughs> at, at what, what are you going to say? What's bad about well, that? Yeah. This, this is the thing, is that what is bad about that? You know, she's like, I'm a mum. I was doing mum stuff. And let me tell you, if it was Kate and William up there, uh -huh. the prince and princess of Wales, and if um, Princess Catherine had said the same thing, oh, you know, I was doing mum stuff, everybody would be like, what a wonderful mother she is. <laughs> yeah. you know Isn't she glorious? But don't yeah. you think that the difference is she wouldn't say it? Yeah, she no, would. I mean, no. she she wouldn't I say it. No, and she, and, has, and, and she well, has talked about family uh, life no, of before. Course she's talked about yeah, family so life she before. I think it's the it. way you do it. It's when you say, my husband, the Duke of Sussex, my husband, but, Harry. You but know, this what's is the thing that? is that if she said, my husband, Harry, somebody would say, why have you not addressed him properly as the Duke of Sussex? It's a slight to the that? royal family. The problem is, is that it's Meghan. And the problem is Meghan. And the problem is, is that everybody wants to pick at Meghan and what she does or does not do. I'll tell you why, uh, Afi. It's because she, she, I mean, again, cut them some slack. There's nothing wrong with this. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with their little speech. But as you indicate, uh, Penny, there is something about her that is just always irritating. But I'm not going to be irritated. I refuse to be, to be irritated to be by irritated her tonight. <laughs> so, so, Afia, just on the subject of you know whether or not she might be gearing up for a bigger role, we know that she, Megan, we know that she's possibly going to be launching or relaunching her old site, yeah. The Tig. But as far as any political ambitions, I mean, I was struck just now looking at her, that, you know, it's it's already been put out by her people that she was wearing a Banana Republic dress. Now, that's a sort of high street. Video, yeah. or that's, yeah. that's miles away from the normal. So it just does seem to me that there is a sort of slightly less glossy image that's trying to be portrayed. Is that because that's more appropriate for the Invictus Games or could that be with an eye on politics? Well, this is the thing for the... It, I was looking at her Invictus Games fashion today, actually, and she's worn a whole range of designers. High-end, you know, jackets at £2,000 and then high street stuff. Banana Republic, shirt 
at like $50. She wears a whole range of stuff. So I don't know if we can draw anything from that because she likes a whole range of fashion. When it comes to her potential, you know, for looking for a bigger role, possibly going for something in office in America, you literally never can tell. But I think for the moment, Megan's eye is on her blog and it's about linking up with the right brands that will, that will sit well with her so and potentially putting her podcast on her blog. I was, She's got I, about as much of a golden future in American politics as I have. Yeah. She's got about as much of a chance of becoming president well, of America I was, as I, was, I have. I was, with, <laughs> going to I was with somebody very, very well connected um, with American politics uh, last weekend in Italy who was saying that she Donald has Trump. been... Going, not <laughs> Donald Trump. Uh, who, say, who says that, that, that she has... <clears throat> her allies have been talking to people to fundraise, but whether it or not... It ain't going anyway, to happen. I, I want to come back to what you were saying. I want to come back to what you were saying about, you know, whether <clears throat> Kate would or wouldn't talk about her kids, because she has also been out and about today. Oh, she's Coincidence? Crazy. Possibly not. <laughs> of uh, yeah. Princess of, of Jails, we're talking, we're referring to her, because here she well, is clever. visiting a prison, <clears throat> uh, spot the new haircut, she's got new mm. bangs, as the American would say, new fringe. Um, so this was Kate visiting a prison in Surrey, talking to inmates about addiction. Uh, she gamely grinned as she endured a search <clears throat> by a prison guard with a drug detection dog. You see there, look, she does it quite funny there. <laughs> She's being so sniffed. Got security checks. It's not Wandsworth. It's not Wandsworth. And that yeah. dog is it's called Penny. And if you look very closely there, I don't, we probably can't zoom in, but her right hand is bandaged because she's had an accident. There you go. Um, on the trampoline. So again, with the kids. So again, that is a reference there to her being a normal mum jumping up and it's down so on the ridiculous. trampoline. Like earlier, we were talking about this upstairs, and Penny was saying praising her for walking in high heels. No. And the pe and the press today were saying, oh, she's so strong going out with a bandage uh, on her hands. She's wearing a, a few hold plasters. Hold on a second. Can I just yeah. say I'm amazed that Meghan Markle, who's got the slimmest ankles ever, can also walk on really high heels. <laughs> I'm pretty much impressed with any woman who can walk on high heels. <laughs> <laughs> and make it look like they're walking normally because yeah. for those who remember Dick Emery when he used to walk out a shot on high heels, yeah. that is essentially how I walk on high heels pretty much after about three minutes. No, nobody, remembers. <laughs> nobody, remember <laughs> nobody remembers Dick Emery. Nobody remembers Dick Emery. Let's move on.